All right, guys, back again here with Coach Carroll. Okay, in this problem, it says the rope from AB, from A to B, has a tension of 400 newtons. Determine the moment about point O, that's this point here, produced by the tension in the cable connected at point A on the bar. Okay, so what do I want to find? General equation, I want to find the moment about point O and let's say produced by tension T. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. Well, where's that tension T? What is that? Well, that's the force, that's the, that's the tension force within this rope here. Now, since we're looking at the force that this rope applies on this bar OA, tension would be pulling on that bar, so it's going this way, okay? Now, you should be thinking, well, okay, I want to find the moment about point O produced by this force T. Here's the line of action of T where's a line that's perpendicular from that line of action here this would be the line of action line of action of T so the distance D if uh, the magnitude of a moment is F times D and that distance D is the distance perpendicular from the line of action 2.0 you could say it's maybe about there, right? That distance is perpendicular. So that would be D. Is that distance easy to find? No, it's not <laughs> easy to find, okay? So we have a problem, okay? So what should you be thinking next, okay? So how can you solve this problem then? Okay, so you're not going to solve it by this perpendicular distance, okay? Well, this problem, uh, maybe you would think, okay, this problem would be easy if this angle here was 90 degrees. If that's the case, then the moment about point O would just be the tension vector, which is the magnitude of it is 400 newtons, times this distance here, 500 millimeters, and I'm done. I've got the answer. But the problem, this angle, it's not 90 degrees. It's something less than that, we'll say some angle theta, okay? So I could do this. Let's think about Verignon's theorem then, okay? So Verignon's theorem says, let's take the force vector, let's divide it into two components. Well, let's do this. Let's say if one component or one axis, I'm going to call is an axis coming along the bar OA, so from O to A, so let's say this is the U direction, and then let's say a direction that's perpendicular to the bar, so here's the line of action of the bar OA, so this is perpendicular to that, Let's say that's the V direction. Okay, I'm going to erase this here. Give me some more room. So let's say this direction, which is perpendicular to bar OA, is the V direction. Okay, now let's take force vector T here and divide it in U and V components. If I do that, let's get a different color here. Well, that right there would be T, the U component of T. And right here, I want a very straight line, sorry about that. That would be the V component of T. Okay? Now, if I look at the U component of T, does that produce a moment about point O? Well, here's the line of action of the U component of T and its line of action goes through point O, so the distance is zero, it cannot produce a moment about O. So only the V component of, ten, of the tension vector produces a moment about O, okay? So, 
let's get it whoop, wrong way let's come over here so here's what I'm saying I'm saying that here's a force vector T here's a component of the force vector I'm going to call that TV and that component is perpendicular to this bar OA okay so if I can find this well then the moment about O produced by T is simply TV times this distance OA because that's the distance perpendicular to the line of action of TV so TV times 500 and what direction is that TV wanting to rotate about O it's wanting to rotate it this way which is counterclockwise okay so that's positive so I'll just say counterclockwise and then it would be Newton millimeters okay so here's the answer so all I need to do now is find TV okay so to do that what angle do I need I need to find this angle right there I'm going to call that angle beta okay well to find angle beta <laughs> what am I going to need I'll need this angle here angle theta okay so let's first start out I'm going to find angle theta and then from if I know angle theta how can I get angle beta well what is the angle between OA and TV what's that angle that's 90 degrees so if I want to find beta how do I do it beta is just 90 minus theta 90 minus this angle is going to give me the angle beta here so again this is what I'm looking for now why am I looking for beta because TV is going to be T times the cosine of beta okay so that's going to be 400 is the magnitude of T times the cosine of beta so now let's just find beta to get beta let's get theta so we're pretty much done with the problem okay now we just need to do trigonometry get good at your trigonometry and find angle theta okay okay well if I know three things about a triangle I can find everything else about it so let's get a new slide here I'm wanting to find angle theta so what do I know about this triangle here I know this length 650 millimeters I know this length is 500 millimeters I don't know this length do I know what angle do I know well if this angle is 30 degrees and this is 90 there that means what is this angle that's right it's 60 degrees okay so I say well I know one side I know another side and I know the angle in between those sides so I can find this side right here right the side opposite to this angle using law of cosines so anytime you know two sides and the angle in between those two sides you should think to use law of cosines so this distance right here we'll call that distance a b there we go so the law of cosines says a b squared is going to be equal to 650 squared plus 500 squared minus 2 times 650 times 500 times the cosine of the angle in between them which is 60 degrees and that equation is easy easy enough to solve for a B and you get 589.5 millimeters now notice I wrote this answer here to one two three four significant digits because this is not my final answer it's a intermediate calculation so I do not want to round my intermediate calculations to one or two significant figures 
because I'm adding unnecessary error then, error due to rounding. Okay, so in your intermediate calculations, you should keep at least four sig figs. Okay? All right, so now that I know AB is equal to 589.5, how can I find angle theta? Now let's use the law of sines. Okay, so the law of sines, I take the sine of an angle in the triangle, so the sine of theta, for example, divided by the length of the side opposite to that angle. So the length of the side opposite to, to theta is 650 millimeters. So the law of sine says this ratio of, of the sine of an angle divided by the length opposite to that angle is equal for every angle and side angle and side opposite to that. So that's equal to, let's say, the sine of 60, because I know that. Sine of 60 divided by what? Well, the length opposite to that, which is 589.5. So that's why I needed to do law of cosines to get AB. Okay, so that then I could do law of sines. So this is one equation, one unknown. I can solve for theta from this easy enough. Theta comes out to be 72.73 degrees. Okay? So I've got theta. So now come back here. Now that I have theta right there with 72.73 degrees, well, now I've got beta. Okay, and now that I've got beta, put that in there, and what do I have? I got TV, all right? Um, what does this come out to be here? Oh, sorry. Oh, now that I got TV, put that into here. I know TV, so TV times 500 is going to give me the moment about T as we explained, or sorry, the moment produced by the tension T about 0, .0 as we explained earlier. So your final answer comes out to be 191 Newton millimeters. Now, what about a direction? This is the moment about O produced by T. Well, it's in the counterclockwise direction, so another way to say that is positive K hat. There you go. That's the answer, guys. All right, so... Whoop. Sorry about that. Notice one thing here. Uh, this answer that I put here, this, uh, this is in millimeters, sorry. This answer that I gave here, this 191, that is actually, uh, it actually I've actually put in uh, Newton times meter here. So I used 0.5 meters instead of 500 millimeters, okay? So this 191 is actually in units of, whoop, sorry, I wrote Newton millimeters. It's in units of Newton, Newton meters. Okay, so be careful with your units there. Um, but that's the idea for solving the problem, guys. So hopefully you understood that, and have a great day.